Hey, hello, welcome back to another focus activity, um, courtesy of MyS. Um, my name's Kirsty, and I'm an English teacher in Rome. Um, how are you all? How is everyone? Um, I hope you're all very, very well. Um, as always, um, you can add your comments in our comments section. Uh, you can ask me questions and I will do my best to answer all of those questions. Okay, so today, what are we doing? Well, we're going grocery shopping. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of the few things we can do at the moment, um, but it's an important activity that we all must, we all must do. Okay, so in today's focus activity, we have Countable and uncountable nouns. Now, these are tricky to remember, but it's important that we get these right. We will also be looking at quantifiers and using the verb to get. Okay, so let's look at the picture. Let's look at the picture. So we've got lots of fruit in this picture. What fruit can you see in the picture? Let me know. Let me know. And if you can see any other words in the picture that you know, note them down in the comments section. Hi, Fiorella. How are you? Oh, lots of people joining. Hello. Put your name in the comments section so I know who you are. Say hi. Okay. So I can see something beginning with the letter A. Hi, Marcello. Nice to see you again. I think we've spoken before. Fiorella, hey. Okay, so um, what fruit can you see in the picture? What fruit? Okay, so I can see fruit that begins with A and fruit that begins with O and fruit that begins with P. Tell me what these words are. Can you think of, yeah, there are lots of fruits, apples, pears, oranges, good, excellent. Um, can you see herbs, herbs? I can see some melons at the very, very back. If you look at the blackboard at the back of the picture, I can see some melons. Okay, um, pears. Um, guys, what do you like to, to buy at the supermarket? What fruit and vegetables do you like to buy when you go to the green grocer? Hey guys, we've got Fiorella, strawberries, oranges, yep. Uh, Eulalia. I hope I've said your name right. Thanks for saying hi. There are apples. Okay. So what do you guys buy at the supermarket? Pasquale, hello. So I like to buy um, oranges. I like to buy oranges at the supermarket. And I also like to buy ki oh, kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit. And I like pumpkin, pumpkins as well. Pumpkins, pumpkins. I make a soup with um, pumpkins. Uh, a very common um, vegetable in Italy is zucchini, okay? But in English, we call that a courgette, okay? So I like buying courgettes. Let's, let's make that visible for you all. A courgette. So in the UK, we say courgette, but you can also say zucchini um, in the States. I think in America, they say zucchini. Okay. Um, what else? What, what fruit and vegetable do you um, like to buy at the supermarket? Yeah, you like kiwi too, Marcello. Kiwis are good for you. They are very good for you. Okay. Okay, vegetables. Good, well done. Well done. Um, what about, what is the vegetable you use to make a, a 
um, it's a very famous dish in Sicily, um, the par parmigiana, what do you use? Oranges, strawberries, apples and other fruits because my daughter, yeah, my daughter loves fruit. Lovely. Okay, when you list, when you make a list of fruit and vegetables that you like to buy, make all the vegetables plural, plural, okay? So like this. Fiorella, I'm just going to give, use your example so everyone understands. I usually buy at the supermarket apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Perfect example, okay? So you need to make all the fruit and vegetables plural because think about it, when you go to the supermarket, it's not like in the supermarket, market there is only one carrot and one potato and one banana there are lots of them okay so when we talk in general terms say I buy and then just use the plural noun okay good parmigiana di melanzana yeah what is melanzana in English you have two options okay two options Okay, there are two words that mean melanzana in Italian, okay? So for people who are not Italian, uh, so one begins with a dot, 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 and the other one is two, well, yeah, begins with e. So what do you think these words are? Do you know? Okay, good. Aubergine, well done, Pasquale. Yes, aubergine. And the other one I'm gonna show I'm gonna um show is eggplant. Eggplant. Okay. In America, Canada, internationally, they might say eggplant. Yeah, eggplant. And yeah, it's one word, I think. <laughs> it's not the word I say, I say aubergine like Pasquale, aubergine, okay, good, excellent, well done guys, okay, let's look at the slides, shall we, let's look at the slides, if I can find my, if I can find my slide, where is it gone, ah, there we go, one second, yeah, okay, sorry, I was having a bit of a nightmare with my tabs, okay, do you do the food shopping? Why do you do the food shopping uh, and why or why not, okay? Do you like to do it, okay? Um, which do you prefer, big supermarkets, small grocery stores or outdoor markets? And what do you buy most often? So guys, you've already told me what fruit and vegetables you like to buy, but let's talk more generally. Where do we go to buy our food, okay? And do you enjoy buying food or do you hate it? Are you like me and hate doing food shopping? Let me know in the comment section, okay? Give you some time. So this is my response. I don't like going food shopping. I think it's stressful. I think it's stressful going to the supermarket. <laughs> mm. 
yeah, I, I think it's I think it's really we answered the first question. Um, Marcello, tell me, do you like food shopping? You can answer uh, all of the questions if you want. There is no there there are no limits. You can answer all the questions. Yeah, Davide, hello. Um, bananas are good. Yeah, the bananas are full of potassium um, and and other good uh, good nutrients. They're good if you if you like swimming. If you like swimming, um, bananas are good fruits to to eat. You like going uh, super to the supermarket? Okay, I like to go. I like. Um, um, so I like going to the, we would say, I like going to the supermarket to do my food, uh, to, um, to buy my groceries. Okay. I like going, so going is in the gerund, gerund form. So I like going to the supermarket to, uh, to do, sorry, that was my mistake, to buy my groceries. So ignore do, to do buy my groceries, to buy my groceries. I was, tr I was starting to write to buy my food shopping, okay? Anyway, okay. Um, do you, when do you go to the supermarket? Do you like to go to the supermarket at the weekend or in the evening after work? Okay. Does anyone go to farmers markets? Farmers markets. Farmer's market. What's a farmer's market? Okay. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point, Fiorella. Okay, Fiorella says that she likes um, doing the food shopping so that she can remember the things she has to buy. So think about it. If you send your partner to buy the food, then you don't know what you need to buy the next time because you can't remember necessarily. Okay. Okay, so there's maybe small shops in your village. There's something very nice about having small shops, like a local, um, okay, a local, um, a local butcher, okay, so the butcher. Uh, we've also got the bakery. The bakery. You can buy bread and, and cakes and things. Uh, and then we've got the fishmonger. Okay. The fishmonger is like the butcher, but he he only does fish. Okay, fish, uh, shellfish. <laughs> that's my that's the symbol for shellfish um, with the shells. Um, okay. And you've also got um, the green grocer. So in the UK, we used to have the green grocer, which um, a green grocer was just, uh, ah, I like going to the supermarket, present continuous. Good question. Okay. So I like, so um, it's not, it's like a present continuous sentence. Okay, but let me explain this. Um, good, well done, Fiorella. You prefer going to the supermarket. So it's not quite a present continuous in the, okay, so if I say I am going to the supermarket, 
Okay. Uh, that is uh, present continuous, but with going to, with going to, right? Okay. But if you say I like, uh, I hate, um, I love, I prefer, I really like, okay, plus, plus gerund, okay. I like or I hate, I love, I prefer, I really like going to the supermarket. I like playing tennis. I like reading my book. I like eating cheese. Um, okay. He hates shopping. He loves drinking beer. Um, he really likes sleeping. Okay, good. Well done. <laughs> good. Uh, okay, let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. Groceries. Okay, what do you need to buy at the supermarket? Make a shopping list. Are the items on your list countable or uncountable? So look at these words and tell me. Are they countable or uncountable? So say C for countable or U for uncountable. Let's go. I'm going to give you three minutes, okay? Let's go. Well done, Marcello. Yeah, I went to the supermarket. It wasn't yesterday. No, was it yesterday? It was yesterday, I think, or the day before. I lose track of time. I think it was well it was it was this week i went to the supermarket but um it was stressful it took me like two hours to, <laughs> to go and the supermarket is just round the corner it was unreal oh goodness um the supermarket is not a place i want to go to at the moment uh but we have to do these things I hope you got everything you needed at the supermarket. There's nothing worse than going to the supermarket and returning without all the things you needed to get. Salt, pepper, yogurt. Yeah, you. Yeah, well done. Okay, so salt and pepper and yogurt, uncountable. What else? What else can you see? Yep, good guys. What about peaches? Countable peach, eggplant, chicken. Uh, chicken's an interesting one, okay? As is yogurt. Um, I will talk about this in a moment. Broccoli, ah, interesting. Okay, let's have a look on the screen and see what we got right. Salt, you. Pepper, you. Peach, well done guys. Peaches are countable. Broccoli, uncountable. Eggplant, aubergine, countable. Okay, chicken, Okay, chicken is uncountable, but if you see a live chicken, so a chicken that's going like this, okay, because it's alive, that is a chicken. A chicken, if you have two of them, two chickens, three chickens, four chickens, okay. Chickens, when they are alive, are countable, right? Okay, but if you're talking about chicken as in dead chicken, ready to cook and to eat, then it is uncountable, okay? Lemon, countable. Jam, mm, uncountable. Yogurt, uncountable, okay? Um, what's weird about yogurt is that if you say a yogurt, would you like a yogurt 
or a pot of yogurt, meaning countable, like, uh, would you like a yogurt? If someone says to me, would you like a yogurt? Um, I think they mean a pot of yogurt. But equally, if someone says, would you like um, some yogurt, then it's uncountable. I don't know how much yogurt they're going to give me. Onion, countable. Okay, let's look at the questions. A pot of yogurt, good. Well done, guys. Okay, how much salt have you got? I haven't got any. How many lemons have you got? I've got three. I've got three. Okay, let's talk about the difference between a tube of yogurt. Yeah, you can have tubes of yogurt. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, you could get like the tubes of yogurt and you, like people at school would like suck the, the yogurt. It was like a packet, almost like sugar, but inside there was yogurt, a tube of yogurt or a, or a tub. A tub of yogurt is like um, the, you know, the big uh, Greek yogurt brands have a tub of yogurt. If it's almost like, uh, if, for example, when you go to the supermarket and you want to buy ice cream, it's like a tub of ice cream. So uh, in the supermarket, you can buy a tub of ice cream. Okay. Cool. So, Oh my goodness. I wonder, is, it, is everyone else cold or is it warm where you are? Because I've noticed it's been very cold recently. I hope that next week it's going to be warmer. Okay. Um, right, let's do a bit of revision. Okay. Have you got... Do you have... Okay, have you got, and do you have? They mean the same thing, okay, more or less. But have, uh, have you got is usually for possession, okay? Um, so, but to be honest, um, in reality, you can use both. It doesn't... Uh, it's it's a complicated thing, um, it, but it's not. They just mean the same. Um, but I know people get them confused. So if I I would say, have you got any uh, yogurt in your fridge? Um, ha, or or equally, I would say, do. Do um, you have any white wine from uh, um, from France? Whatever. Um, okay. Do you have any white wine from France? So if you go into the supermarket and you're looking for white wine specifically from France, you can ask the question, do you have any white wine from France or French white wine? Okay. Um, it's the same thing. Have you got or do you have? Okay. Yes, we do. No, we don't. With have and got, you say yes, we have, or no, we haven't, okay? So this is sometimes confused. So if I say, do you have, answer, yes, we do, or no, we, we don't. Um, if you are um, talking to the person who works in the supermarket, the person in the supermarket might say, yes, we do, no, we don't. We referring to all the people in the supermarket, okay, who work at the supermarket. I haven't got any. No, I haven't got any. So if I say, have you got, you say, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay, good. 
Right. Excellent. Any questions? If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments box. Well done. Well done, Pasquale. Well done. Okay. I've got some. Use some in positive sentences. So, Exactly. Well done, Fiorella. Well done. I'm going to show your comment. Well done. Precisely. Precisely. Okay, let's look at the next slide. Oh, what happened there? Right, I've got some. Use some in positive sentences. What's already in your cupboards? I've got some eggs, some oil, some flour, and some sugar. Uh, let's make pancakes. I've got some mm, and some mm. Let's make mm. okay. <laughs> so uh, tell me, tell me something you can make, okay? So um, I will write an example. I've got some. Uh, cheese and some pasta. What, sh what shall we make? What shall we make? Question. What shall we make? Yeah, good. Well done. So you use any in the negative form or if it's a question. Good. Excellent. Well done, Marcello. Okay, so I've got some cheese and some pasta. I've got some cheese and some pasta. Question, what shall we make? What shall we make? Tell me. What shall we make? Guess. Anything. I've got some cheese and some pasta. I can put them together. What, what can I make? Okay, I'll give you another one. I've got some, some potatoes, some potatoes and some, some rosemary. Another one. I've got some potatoes and some rosemary. All right. Question. What shall we make? What shall we make? Let's make lasagna. Good idea. What about potatoes and rosemary? So potatoes and rosemary together. What do you do with them? Okay. Also, sorry if I've spelt this wrong. I've got some mascarpone and I've got some coffee. What shall we make? What shall we make? Let's meet tiramisu. Good, well done. Excellent. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, I haven't got any. Use any in questions and negative sentences. Have you got any chocolate? Have you got any eggs? I want to bake cookies, but I haven't got any flour. I want to bake cookies, uh, but I haven't got any eggs. I haven't got any mm, chocolate chips. 
okay now ask your partner which ingredients they've got okay so have you got mm, yes i have mm, or no i haven't got mm, okay so um Mm. I want to make um I want to make mm, I'm trying to think of something. I want to make biscuits. What's bake? Ah, good question. To bake is when you want to make a cake. So you put it in the oven. So when you cook something in the oven you bake it. So to cook in the oven. So, okay. Okay, I'm not quite sure why my, just saying, uh, to cook in the oven. I don't know why it's rejecting my posts. Maybe it doesn't like me. YouTube doesn't like me anymore. Okay, so to cook in the oven equals to bake. Okay. Good. Okay, uh, let's move on. So, um, let's see. I want you to create sentences for me saying, I want to make, and then tell me a dish or something you want to make. But say, uh, have you got, and then say an ingredient. Or you can say, I want to make lasagna, but I haven't got cheese. I want to make, um, I want to make a uh, soup, but I don't have an onion. Uh, okay, so think, think of something you want to make and then tell me if you have or haven't got an ingredient. Okay, does that make sense? For example, uh, I want... I want to make uh, ooh, I want to make garlic chicken, but I I haven't got any chicken. So this is my example. It's a stupid example, but I'm just going to go with it. Okay, so. I want to make garlic chicken, but I haven't got any chicken. Okay, so uh, give me an example like that in the comment section. Let's go. I'll give you three minutes, okay? Ah, good question. Um, I would say make. I want to make pizza, make pizza, not bake pizza. Um, to bake is like to bake, uh, bake cookies, uh, like to bake cookies, to bake biscuits, um, a cake. Uh, if you want to make a ciambellone, you put it in the oven so you bake a cake. You can also bake potatoes, so you can do bake. Uh, potatoes or meat as well it's just when you, it's just al forno but um with pizza you don't bake a pizza you make a pizza i don't know why we just uh, we just we make a pizza and also in english we talk about pasta bake when you put pasta in the oven to um, to cook as well. Yeah, good. I want to make tiramisu, but I haven't mas I haven't got I haven't got mas mascarpone. Okay, I haven't got. 
I haven't got mascarpone. Okay, I haven't got mascarpone. The alternative would be I don't have uh, mascarpone. Okay, good. Okay, any more examples, please? Okay. What about, um, I want to make fish and chips, but I don't have any potatoes. I want to make fish and chips, but I haven't got any fish. <laughs> <laughs> I want to bake some bread but I haven't got any flour good perfect example well done guys I want to bake some bread but I haven't got any flour good let's move on well done use enough with countable and uncountable nouns um, so uh, have you got any chocolate yes I've got some but not enough have we got enough bread to make some sandwiches? We've got some bread, but we haven't got enough. What are you going to make? Do you have enough to make it? How much many do you need? Okay, so uh, this, is, this is an interesting question. So how, um, so, if you want, okay, I want to make a sandwich, but I haven't got any cheese. Good, well done. Let's say you want to make a cake. You want to make a cake, um, bake a cake, but you haven't got enough eggs. So think about how many eggs you might need to make a cake and decide whether you have enough or not. Okay, so... Um, I want to make an, an omelette, omelet, um, but I haven't got enough eggs. I want to eat some ice cream, but I don't have a freezer. Marcello, you're a legend, absolute legend. I want to eat some ice cream, but I don't have a freezer. Yep. Uh, I, well, I've got a freezer, but I don't have much space in my freezer. Also, I am trying to slim down for summer. I'm trying to be athletic and fit for summer. So I might be inactive at the moment because I'm inside, but I'm going to be fit for summer. So I can have an ice cream when it's hot, but I'm not going to have ice cream before it gets hot. Okay. Uh, I want to make an omelette, but I haven't got enough eggs. Okay, uh, can you give me an example like this? I want to make a, mm, but I haven't got enough blah. Okay, well, let's go. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to give me some examples. Another example, I want to, um, I want to make a fruit salad, but I haven't got enough, uh, I haven't got enough apples. Okay, I want to make a fruit salad, but I haven't got enough apples. Okay, so can you, uh, I'm going to give you a couple of more minutes. Can you think of an example similar to 
the two I've given you. So I want to make an omelette, but I haven't got enough eggs. I want to make a fruit salad, but I haven't got enough apples. Uh, so I want to bake a cake, but I haven't got any butter, any butter, butter, I haven't got any butter, I haven't got any butter, good, well done, good, I want to make some cocktails, but I haven't got ingredients. Well done, Marcello. <laughs> so you want ice cream and alcohol. It sounds like you want to have a party. Don't we all, actually? I mean, I, I want to have a party, but I don't have enough beer in my fridge. And I don't have any friends to... Well, no, I do have friends I could invite. I just don't know if I, they're not allowed to come, so we can't have a party. I, I could have a party, but there wouldn't be any people. Okay. Mm, I, uh, I want to make... Uh, I want to make a margarita, but um, I haven't got any alcohol. Um, I want to make, uh, or ice, ice. I want to make, um, I want, okay, Pirella. Um, I want to bake a chocolate cake, but I haven't got enough dark chocolate. Good. Yeah, you need you need dark chocolate to make a chocolate cake. Otherwise, it's not chocolate cake, is it? I want to make. Um, uh, mm, I want to make a, a potato cake, but I don't have any potatoes. Um, I want to make a lasagna, but I don't have enough ingredients okay let's move on okay okay um so um the word the verb to get means to buy in english as well so the verb get has lots of different meanings in english um my advice is look up the dictionary and find the verb to get you can do this online or in an, a normal dictionary. Look up the verb to get. You will find a very long section on, uh, on the verb to get in the English dictionary, okay? It means lots of different things, depending on context, okay? So in the context of grocery shopping, the verb to get can be talked can be used to talk about things we want to buy okay do you need to buy anything at the supermarket you can also say do you need to get anything at the supermarket yes i need to get some eggs some cheese and some bread or alternatively yes i need to buy some eggs some cheese and some bread okay so Question, what do you need to get at the supermarket? Hey, Domenico, I want to make a cake, but I haven't got any sugar. I haven't got any sugar. Any sugar. I haven't got any sugar. Okay, so... Um, Tell me, what do you need to get at the supermarket? What do you need to get? What do you need to get? We'll make this the last question, guys. What, tell me, what do you need to get at the supermarket?
So for example, I need to get, I need to buy some bread, some oil, some rice, uh, and four lemons, okay? Okay, I need to buy uh, some bread, some oil, some rice, four lemons, okay? Um, I need, uh, this is one that I think lots of people can, can uh, relate to, is I need to get more toilet roll. <laughs> I need to get more toilet roll. I think someone eats it. Someone eats it in my apartment. Someone keeps eating the toilet roll. I don't know where it goes. I need to get some milk, eggs, and butter. Okay. So um, this is another thing. If you want to make a list, you can just say, I need to get some milk, comma, eggs, and butter. You do not need to say some, 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 some. It's, um, it, you just say some once, and then you list the things you need to get. Yeah, I need to get some eggs because I eat eggs every morning. Well done, Marcello. Well done. Super. Excellent. Guys, we will have to stop there because we have run out of time, sadly. Um, it went very quickly today. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson and um, I need to get many things for the next week. Yes, we all, we all need to get lots of things at the supermarket. Um, look. Um, we will end the conversation there and um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and look after yourselves. The next time you go to the supermarket, make sure you remember to get all the things you need. Remember the things you have, uh, you don't have any of, the things you have some of and things you don't have enough of, okay? Good. Stay safe, guys, and I hopefully I will see and speak to you all very, very soon. Thank you.